Okay, so we got we got our um, we know how to move around now. Um, I'll just if you want to move regions, you just click and drag these things, and they move. So let's let's create some more tracks. Um, no, actually, before we do that, let's just go more into the piano roll. So if I double click on this region, then we can see all of the notes that I played. This is called the piano roll. I can get there by double clicking here or by pressing the letter P. So, so this shows me exactly every note I played, how long I played it, and how hard I played it. Um, you can see the keyboard, the black keys and the white keys. Um, um, on your MIDI keyboard, you notice you might notice that well, you know, see right here it says C3. This is just a way of of telling. This is the way that MIDI keys are classified. Middle C on a keyboard is C3, and C2 that's an octave down. C0, uh, C1, C0. It uh, goes up to 8 and it goes down to negative 2. Um, I don't really ever use it that high, but but you can. Your keyboard goes should go up to C7, should go down to A negative 1. Um, but this is this is kind of helpful when, when you're going along because, you know, if you say, uh, I should have done something to E flat 4, everybody knows exactly which note, you know, they know exactly which E flat you're talking about. But on this menu, you can totally change every single note you can totally edit it you can make it perfect however you want um, so all you gotta do is or I'll click on this one now when you get this cursor you click and drag and you can make it longer and you make it shorter you make it as long as you want as short as you want uh, s over same thing with uh, the beginning you can make it start earlier make it shorter um, and uh, you can move this thing up Forward, so you can move it. You can move it wherever you want. So you know, if you ever make a, a wrong note, it's really simple. You just click and drag, move it, and no big deal. Um, now let's see. I let me uh, zoom in here. I I don't usually quantize things, but sometimes you want to quantize. Quantizing is where. So if you take a look, if you zoom in, these are all the bars. These are all where the beats are and stuff. I don't play it exactly perfect, even though it's pretty good. If I do want to play it perfect, like if I'm doing some techno music that has to have a perfect beat, or if I'm just wherever I need a perfect beat, um, I go to here, click on quantize, and it will now quantize or round up to the nearest nearest note that I choose here. So I've got a 16th note. That means it's going to quantize, or it's, it, it's going to round up to the nearest 16th note. Um, I'll turn that off so you can see it again. This is what I played. I uh, press this, and you'll see the notes have just shifted to be perfectly in line to the nearest sixteenth note. Uh, it will just go to the nearest one where, where, wherever you played it. So sometimes, if you play like really bad, you'll it'll go to the wrong. You know, it'll go the opposite way that you want it to. So you have to just click and drag it back. Um, so now, if I play back, it's everything is like perfectly in sync. So this is quantize. You can quantize any kind of MIDI data. Um, anything that you play through the keyboard, you can go back, you can quantize it. Um, okay, now the difference between the colors here is the how, how hard I hit it. And you can change that too. Um, the slower way to do all this is to press escape. And you get all these tools. And I would go to velocity tool, click on that. And I would click this, then I would just drag down or drag up. Notice how it starts down here at purple, goes to blue, goes to red, and that's the highest velocity. So that's how I do it the slow way. Let me show you the faster way. To get out of this, you go double escape. Faster way is to do this. This is your cursor. This the first the one on your left is your 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 primary cursor. The one on your right is your secondary cursor. Click on that and just go to velocity tool. Your secondary cursor is activated whenever you press down the command key. So if you press it down, notice how my cursor changed. Um, so now all you got to do is press command, click on that, and drag.
just the same. This can be really fast. You know, if, as you're going along, you don't have to press escape, go down here, click, double escape. You don't have to do any of that. You just press down command, go here, press down command. This one was too hot, this one's too loud, this one's too soft. Or this group was too soft, so turn them all up. Uh, it's really fast that way. Um, if you ever have a problem, if you ever make a mistake, press Command Z. On PCs, it's it's like Control Z. It's the same thing. So let's say, let's say I made this super loud. Uh, I just changed it. I want to go back. I press Command Z, and it's back back to where it was. If I want to redo it, I press Shift Command Z. And it'll go the other way. So Command Z, Shift, Command Z. Okay, so I'll put it back. Um, okay, now you notice that you have this. This is the default list of tools that you use. I only use about a few of these, um, and I've made them um, very accessible because I only use those a few of them. Uh, the one, if you press one on the keyboard, that would that would make your cursor the default pointer arrow. If you press two. That would be a pencil tool. If you press three, that's a glue tool. If you press four, that's a scissors tool. Um, so with the pencil tool, if you press number two, you can input all these notes. Um, so you can make new notes if you want. Now, I'm not I'm not sure exactly where these notes are coming from. Like they created all the all the red long notes that I want and sometimes sometimes I don't know what kind of note or how long it's going to be um, and so you can do it that way or uh, if you see a note that you're like that's the perfect length that's the perfect how long I want it I just want to make a copy of that you can do command C which is copy and then command V that works sometimes there are problems I don't know why sometimes uh, logic has a has like like just has a problem and sometimes doesn't do it right. So an even easier way I think is you click on the note, hold down option, the option key, and you drag, click and drag, and it'll make a copy. Sometimes I've had it when I do command C and command V. For some reason it just kicks me out like a ton of bars away from where I want. Like it's like a it's like a glitch or something. So this one this is what I've been using lately. So you just you can do a bunch of notes, just you highlight them, hold down, option, click, and drag. And you got the same notes coming out. This works exactly the same way with regions up here. Option, click, and drag. And we got the same exact ones. Okay, I'll delete that. Alright. So, let me, the difference between velocity and volume, there is a difference. Velocity is just how hard I hit the keys, or how hard... Let me zoom. I like this view because it's a lot more compact. Um, or, how, for example, if you're a trumpet player, how how hard you how fa how how hard you blow if you're a you know if you're a wind player, how hard you blow is is your velocity. Um, now, velocity and volume can be different things. For example, if I'm a trumpet player and I'm playing as loud as I can and I'm blasting, I've got super high velocity. But if I'm super far away, my volume is actually low. But if I'm a flute player if, and I'm playing and I have a mic right up next to my flute, I could be playing with a super low velocity, but my volume can be very high. So they're, they're two separate things. Um, generally speaking, usually as, as you increase the volume, um, or no, as you increase the velocity, usually the volume goes up. But as you can see with that example, just because the velocity is high doesn't mean it's going to be loud when it comes out. Like you can turn down the volume. Or you can have a very quiet part and you can turn up playing very low velocities and you can turn up the volume and it'll be very very loud okay let's see okay if you want to use one two three and four those are your those are your keys your hot keys to use if you, you can use those up here too so I press two and that's my pencil tool that will create an empty region these these are green re things are called regions again and I can delete them if I want. If you want to extend um, these regions, you just go make this this thing at the end, and then just pull it, or you can pull it in, or however you want. Um, you can loop these. If you go to the top, you get this loop, um, this looping icon, and that will loop the same thing over and over again. And you can loop for as long as you want. 
So just click right here so you can have a listen. Okay. Um, so if you want to cut up these regions, let's say you, I don't know, for some reason you want to cut in the middle of that and you want to separate them or something. That's what the scissors tool number four is for. So you just get that and you click on that and it will separate them. Now I can click and drag these and move them around. Um, if you want to put them together, you go to number three, you get the glue tool, click on one of them, hold down the shift key, and then click on the other one while you're holding down shift and it will put them back together. So it's really, really handy. You can, you can totally cut things up, especially with audio, you're, you're cutting things and pasting, not pasting as much, but you're cutting things all the time. Um, if you, for first of all, again, if you cut where you can obviously see notes that are in the middle of it, try that and it'll say overlapping notes are found. Do you want to keep, shorten, or split those? Shortening will make that uh, when you, wherever that split is, it will, the, the notes that we're playing will be shortened and they will stop right there. Um, splitting is where it will just make a line and the new notes will, will appear in the next, in the second region. So I'll just click on split and let's see the end of the end of this region is right here and this, the, the start of this region is right here. Notice that this note, for example, and this note are the exact same note. They just got split down the middle. I want to put them back together so I'll press uh, 3, click, hold shift, and click and they're back together. Okay, uh, if you want to solo or mute things, um, you can do that, but I think I'll talk about that in a second. Just so you know, M will mute the region. When we have more regions, it'll be easier to show you, but we have M and we have S. Those will solo and those will mute. You can do it by region, or you can do it by track. That's what S solo is for and M is mute. Okay, um, if you press N, that is the score window and that shows you all the notes that you played in a score type menu. If you press this, if you press this button, you'll get it in a, like a, a page format, a little easier to see. This is kind of nice. Let me turn off the, uh, the quantize so you can see how it was before. Okay, it's not, not very different, but sometimes you can get some really funky um, rhythms, especially if you don't listen to the metronome, if you don't record to the metronome. Um, sometimes you don't want to, but generally speaking, you want to record to the metronome because that will help line up everything else. So you can, that's like your, your basis that you can line up things off. Um, so let me turn this back, back on. Uh, now notice that you have a bunch of sharps and a few flats. I played this in the key of D and your default key when, you, when you're opening up Logic is C. So it thinks that this is the key of C. So all I have to do to change it to key of D have all these keys right here. Just click and drag D and put it right in the beginning. And drop it in. So that changes the key signature. Now it thinks it's D and all those things just disappear. Um, so, and you have your pedal marks. You can change these um, later. I'm not going to go too much into this, how, how to do things in the score editor on this tutorial, maybe on a future one. Uh, but just so you can see, you have you have the this very very handy tool at your disposal, and uh, at in this window, obviously, like in the piano window, you can you, know, you can change notes, you can change them wherever you want. Same thing here. Put them wherever you want. 